today we're going to start a whole new series on WebEx calling. We're going to do everything. Uh, we're going to configure Control Hub, all the calling features, and we're even going to configure a local gateway and Cube high availability. Before we get started, I wanted to show you how you can get set up with your own WebEx calling sandbox with full administrative access uh, in Control Hub so that you can follow along, of course, as we go. Now, this Sandbox account, this is a full-fledged WebEx Control Hub administrator account. You're going to get 10 full WebEx licenses, including WebEx Calling Professional. So you'll have the ability to enable users for full calling licenses. You'll be able to set up, bring your own PSTN with a SIP trunk, which again, we're going to set up a little bit later in this series. You can assign phone numbers, extensions, and you can assign them to users and different locations, of course. You'll even have access to the full calling API. Now, we're not gonna do anything with the API this time around, but it's there, it's full access. It isn't crippled in any way. Uh, the only limitation is that it's only gonna be good for about four hours at a time. Okay, so just be aware of that. All right, so how do you get set up with this Sandbox account? Just go over to developer.cisco.com. Now, the first thing you'll wanna do is come over here and create an account. Uh, if you don't have one already. And if you do have one, uh, go ahead and log in. I'm already logged in here, so I'm all set to go. Once you're logged in, uh, at the top of the page, we're gonna click Learn. Then we'll come down here and click Sandboxes. We'll select Collaboration. Then we'll just scroll down to where it says WebEx and try it out. Okay, from here, we're gonna go up to the top right-hand corner and click Reserve. Now, once you click Reserve, you'll get this little pop-up window and uh, just click Reserve again. And then once you do that, it's gonna start running a series of automated scripts that run in the background and kind of set up the services. Uh, they'll sell, set up Control Hub. Uh, they'll set up a single user for you that you'll use to log in, uh, as well as a default location. Now up here, you can get an estimate of how long the setup process is gonna take. Uh, in my experience, it can take anywhere from five minutes, say, to all the way up to 30 minutes to set up. It just kind of depends on how busy they are, I guess. And then when it's all done, they'll email your login credentials and explain how to log in and so forth. When you get your login credentials, you'll wanna go to admin.webex.com, put in the username and password that they sent you, and you'll be all set to go. Now, before we get started configuring Control Hub, I wanna take just a quick high-level view of the WebEx calling architecture, and we're gonna do that in the next video. I'll see you there. 